Hey guys, it's Parker. I thought I'd do a quick walkthrough on how you turn one of these Razor MX 350s, uh, convert it into a uh, gas little monster little guy. So, first off, let me show you how this is set up back here. So, you know what you're looking at with these little electric razors. The chain and everything, it's all flip flop. So, the chain's on the right side and it goes to this motor back here. And then the drum brake, it's actually a pretty decent drum brake, um, but it, it's on the left side. And the motor, everything's connected to a little panel up here. And in, this is just a hollow box with two batteries in it. Runs up to, you know, this little electric switch and this little like plastic handle brake line. So what I did, I got online and found one of these little 49cc engines. And you could buy them in a kit with like a pipe and a chain and a sprocket. But you really only need the, the engine, chain, sprocket. And I, I got one that also had grip, shut off, and a uh, little throttle and throttle cable. Um, I switched this brake out for a metal one because I, I don't know I don't just don't trust the little plastic one I don't want to break and you just be flying down the road or something but I'm gonna start in the back end you have to put the wheel on backwards so that you could run your chain on the left side and your brake on the right and to do that if you put the chain on and you have this area right here it'll just pull it and it'll free spin so you have to weld this just weld it in a circle so that's not moving and on that hub you could mount the sprocket it's not going to fit so you have to kind of cut and make it work also you've got to kind of adjust I, I added a smaller nut right there large nut right here and a little spacer so that the chain will be perfectly aligned and that's super easy to do break I, I cut off there's like a little mounting plates back here Let me show you like that that's how the brake is you cut that off and you just bolt it to the side run the brake lines to the uh, grip it's pretty straightforward <laughs> these uh pegs just get rid of them you don't need them you probably don't even need this whole center thing because whenever they're on there it sticks out maybe that far and it's kind of in the way of the motor so I just ran just welded a, a square tube right there for my feet easy uh, easy thing to do in the bike there is a uh, a support right in the middle and you have to cut it out there's no way around that you cut it out so you're dealing with an open area you fit that in you have to mount little pieces of flat bar to the bottom of the engine the motor then you set it on there where it uh, needs to be you tack weld it then you take this off and then you could finish welding everything put the uh, motor on later and then I ran like a half inch steel pipe just steel rod just right in the center for the support now let me come over here because it's kind of dark let's see if we can see this better okay this the pipe the exhaust pipe it's made of three-quarter conduit and there's not really a great way to explain how to do that you have to get a pipe bender and uh, just kind of make it fit in there these tight curves you have to get a grinder and cut all the way along there and then when you bend it you t you weld those cracks shut um, another thing with the conduit is that since it's coated in like zinc or whatever you have to um, sand it all off or get it all off otherwise like if it, if it burns it emits like a toxic fume you don't want any of that none of that that's just like heat resistant black paint um, also you gotta have let's see if I can focus this heat heat wrap and you just get that O'Reilly's or whatever but it, the heat wrap goes all the way through here Here's the back view of it. Um, you don't want anything burning. Get that heat wrap. Straight pipe. Makes it loud as shit. 
pretty awesome um, gas tank this is just a regular like a canteen water bottle uh, this is it's attached with like the nozzle is like an inch and a half bolt that I drilled through the center of so I bolted it on through the inside and then you just used uh, like JB weld something you have to use like JB weld something that is a uh, fuel corrosion resistant um, same thing on the bottom there's a bolt that attaches I'll show you on this one there's like a fake gas tank has a bolt in there I just went and got a longer bolt and went through the center of this canteen and attached the plastic right there um, and then just ran it through the seat line goes to the carb went and got a you know a little fuel filter like 25 cents or something um, the wrap I got the wrap off of Aliexpress for like 15 bucks it just comes in a roll but if you have a heat gun and a razor it's pretty easy to do um, I have a vinyl cutter so shout out to uh, go fast don't die they didn't have the right size that I wanted so I just remade one for this bike uh, it goes it goes about 30 um, I'm I'm about 6'1", 6'2", almost 200 pounds so I'm not going to go 30 on it because it's like a little clown car to me but it's a ripper I'll uh, show you what it looks like show you how it rides so hold tight 